Last week, I made a video about the best level one ward as a jungler that's going to prevent chaotic early games, getting late invaded, killed on your red buff. There was a comment here in my comment section talking about the Hyden ward. Hyden is a, another coach over in EU West, and he was basically saying here that this ward maybe could be better because it is not going to get sweeped level one. And the reason for that, we'll quickly look here is that the ward is around here. So if the enemy team walks in here, you know, they'll sweep and run here. And then obviously they'll clear the Nathamot ward. What I wanted to make this video on is showing you guys just the Nathamot ward in action and sort of the difference and the benefits of even just how powerful this ward is to win a game. I've got a lot of examples in here, guys, in the span of just a couple of days, lots in my own games. We're going to take a look at a bunch of examples in my own gameplay, just how powerful the ward is, how you can use it. We've got an LCK game for you guys to show and some other of my Soul 2 clients. Um, getting some results with the Nathan Mott Ward. So let's just dive straight in. All right, so here's a VOD from the Korean League, LCK. This is Genji versus Afrika. This was just a couple of days ago. Let's pay attention to Clid here, the Volley Bear on the right side. Comes straight out of base, places the Nathan Mott Ward, runs straight away to not get seen. That's the actual very crucial part, don't get seen. Afrika actually doesn't have at all um, a sweepers, but they have really no idea they've been seen whatsoever here. And again, this is the power of this ward. So talking about the Hyden ward, you know, obviously, you know, if everyone knew about this ward, you know, people would just get sweeper and if people would do this all the time, you know, they'll come and sweep this. And then obviously the Hyden ward's in effect, you know, it's going to be obviously better. But just from sheer experience, and I, I, I responded to the comment saying, I just don't get it sweeps in my own games. I do it every game. And I'd say probably the ratio could be, I said one to 50, but I can't remember. I think it's about one in a hundred times it's actually potentially been sweeped. So... Um, you know, we're all about practicality here in Soul 2. You know, that's great theory crafting around that ward. But just from experience, it's just so much um, power in just warding that instantly out of base. Any team has no idea because who goes and wards straight out of base? It doesn't really make much sense. And it just gives you so much information, so much control over your early games. And specifically this VOD as well. Volibear versus Nidalee. Volibear wants to have a very relaxed early game. Nidalee Renekton, you know, versus Volibear Sam. These guys hard win 2v2, you know. They, they've got a very, very strong early game. So this ward's going to allow a nice, you know, Volibear's going to be able to adapt. I mean, Nidalee can try and create chaos. But there's going to be a great adaption for the Volibear. But the key thing here again, guys, information. League of Legends is all about information. Enemy team knows where Afrika is. Uh, but Afrika doesn't necessarily know where Genji is. And they actually don't even know they've been seen. All right, so this is a great example from Pro Match I want to start off with. Let's take a look at the next example. Jumping into my own games, this is Grandmaster 500 LP on OS. I played 12 games in the last 48 hours. The Nathan Mott Ward has given me great information, potential advantage for of those 12 games. So let's just quickly just take a look at those. First one here, straight out of base. Obviously, Ward, Nathan Mott Ward here, as we can see here. Sweeper. You know, just going, I just want to just clear up to top. We see the Volley Bear. He starts channeling his base. My team doesn't end up cancelling it because I don't make it in time. I even tell my team to cancel. But Grand, I could have just got an advantage here. I mean, he would be stuck on the map and he couldn't reset and get Sweeper. Could have maybe get a Chunk or a Flash. Let's jump into the second example. Next example here, place the Nathan Mott Ward. Reset, switch out to Sweeper. They do have a Nautilus. Nautilus like to invade. As we can see here, Enemy comes down here, invades, and, you know, again, they have no idea. And the great thing about this, guys, like, again, like, if I just had the Hyden Ward here, you don't necessarily know whether they're based or backed out or anything like that. So, again, not sweeps, easy peasy, and we even see Viego, they come and actually ward this, and it's like, you know, we've got great information there. There you go. Let's jump into another example here. Straight out of base, place an Aether Mott Ward. Obviously, any team's going to invade here. And the biggest thing, guys, is like, think about how many early games I've just saved myself. Like, imagine if we didn't know they were coming in there, you know? Or like, and this is a great example. You see how we can actually see them come all the way in here? So, and we, because the great thing about this ward as well is you're actually going to be able to see them leave. So, obviously, my team's all prepared for it now. Great. And then enemy teams now, obviously, they know that we're there because we're throwing abilities. There you go. Another successful early game saved from the Nathan Mott Ward. And Graves is obviously, I mean, people love, and this is a great example because this is a Nunu game. 
Um, this is how I came up with just warning this because I kept getting invaded like this as Nunu because Nunu really sucks level one. Like it's one of the worst chances because you just have consume, right? Even though you can like smite consume, you don't take the buff low enough to actually get it. So you might think that Nunu is good, but he's actually not good level one. So again, like this is where it was conceived from examples like this. Let's take a look at another example. All right, so this example here, I've placed an Aether Mod Ward. This is one where we get big, big wins, guys. We see them pop in here. I mean, if I, again, if I have the Hyden Ward here, guys, how do we know what's going on? My Zillion would have just died there, yeah? So we come down here. You know, again, they have no idea that... They have no idea. That's why they come back in here, guys. They don't know that it's warded. Look at the way they're playing. Now, I mean, now they obviously know. Uh, but again, they think that we don't have vision on them here, you know? Again, guys, this is 500 LP Grandmaster. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just different on ice. But there you go. Bam. And then the best part about this, I might literally just insta-win the game from this. Uh, Varus actually now gets stuck on the map. I do a nice little chunk here. My bot lane, a Zillion Samira beats a Varus Thresh because of this. And now the game's just instantly over. Nathan Mott Ward, free win. There you go. Plus 16 LP. Here we go. So another example over the last couple of days is uh, one of our Soul 2 members, Ishan. Places the Nathan Mott Ward. Resets. Enemy team sees them invade, and then the enemy team's like, oh, there's a great opportunity to come in. Let's go invade. And again, this is the power of the war, guys. We are very aware of where they are. They're sitting ducks. The hardened ward, we're not going to know about this, are we, guys? So many amazing opportunities. And we can just, we have all the time in the world to set up here. You know, we're coming down here. Talia, everyone's collapsing. Here we go. And then we find them, bam, you know, they're like, oh, we got the pick. And then, never mind, Leona's burnt flash, and then they kill Leona. No flash of Leona against a Lulu. Goodbye, bot lane. She's going to be late to the lane as well. Left, right, good night. Let's take a look at the last example here, guys. Okay, so this one's from one of our Soul 2 members, Jonah. This is gold one. There's the Nathan Mott Ward. Switch out to Sweeper. Enemy team's in here. Got no idea they're getting collapsed on. Come down here. You know, we have all the time in the world to set up again because we know exactly where they're going, guys. This ward gives us so much information and it will never get cleared. And there we go. Enemy team actually decides to overstay here. Um, I mean, again, they have no idea. that They think they they think they have an advantage. That's why they come back here, guys. Like, you know, guys, we're, we're pike, we're stronger. I bet you we can just camp these bushes. But the enemy, I mean, Jonah here, his team's just laughing at them. They're just running over vision all day long. That's why I always say vision, guys, wins games. And this is a great example of it. And there you go, guys. The game's basically over here. Karzix is completely screwed here. Karthus is started 1 0 2. He gets full HP. He gets to start his buff. He doesn't have two. He even has two pots here. Smite. Amazing stuff, guys. So, again, I just want to show you guys just the practicality of this ward. You know, it's great to theorycraft these things. Maybe everyone's going to be using the Hyden ward once the Nathan Mott ward gets you know, become standard as junglers. I mean, it's not going to happen anytime soon. We're still very small at the Souls Two over here. But again, showing you guys just the practicality. We love practicality in Souls Two. Do it in your own games. It's going to prevent you losing games, but also win your games from some examples here.